Traffic is finally flowing again on I-65 this evening after a semi-accident during the morning commute closed the road for most of the day. News Channel 18's Nicole Kahn brings us continuing coverage. Nicole, the traffic back up in Boone County near Thorntown caused headaches for many Lafayette drivers. Gina, it certainly did, but the evening commute for those using I-65 should be a lot easier. The road reopened at 3 this afternoon. It was partially closed for almost nine hours after a chain reaction accident killed one driver. A column of smoke and flashing emergency lights warned drivers there could be a long delay ahead. Tammy McCain of White Iris Designs in Lafayette sent an employee to Indianapolis to pick up flowers from a wholesaler for this weekend's four weddings. I uh, hopped in the car, decided to take off and go down there today, and then got just outside of probably the Frankfurt exit, and it probably took us a half hour to go maybe a half a mile, even if that. The driver never made it to Indy. The semi wreck where one truck exploded, killing the driver, closed down the road for most of the day. Police say at 5.30 in the morning, the semi traveling southbound flipped and blocked both southbound lanes. While en route up here, uh, we had numerous 911 calls of another uh, major crash. It was this one. It appears he rear-ended the other semi due to the traffic backup of the original crash. The semi caught fire and exploded, killing the driver. McCain says her employee gave up after an hour of waiting. Others reported drivers sitting outside of their cars while they waited for the road to reopen. White Iris says the weekend's weddings were saved when they found another flower wholesaler in Lafayette. The investigation continues into that accident, but officials tell us they don't believe alcohol was a factor. The driver's name, who was killed, has not yet been released. His family has not yet been notified. Nicole Kahn, News Channel 18.